Everyone's talking about AI-powered design tools right now, and two names keep coming up, Playground AI and Kittle. I've been deep diving into both platforms for weeks, and honestly, they're solving completely different problems. Let's break down which one actually fits your workflow. Let me start with Playground AI, because this one surprised me. When I first heard the name, I thought it was just another generic AI image generator. But here's what nobody tells you. Playground AI is specifically built for creatives who need consistent, high-quality images fast. The platform runs on some seriously powerful models. We're talking DALI integration, stable diffusion, and their own proprietary algorithms that honestly produce some of the cleanest outputs I've seen. What impressed me most is the control you get over your generations. You're not just typing a prompt and hoping for the best. You can adjust aspect ratios, fine-tune styles, and even use reference images to guide the AI exactly where you want it. Here's where it gets interesting. Playground AI offers three tiers, and the free plan is actually usable. You get 50 images per day, which sounds generous, until you realize how addictive this thing becomes. I burn through my daily limit in about an hour, just experimenting with different prompts. The quality on the free tier is decent, but you're stuck with fixed dimensions and you'll hit waiting periods during peak hours. The pro plan at $15 a month is where things get serious. You jump up to 1,000 images per day, plus higher resolution downloads and priority processing. For most content creators, this is the sweet spot. But here's the catch. If you're doing client work, you'll want to read their licensing terms carefully. The Turbo Plan at 45 bucks monthly gives you 2,000 images daily and the fastest generation speeds. I'll be straight with you. Unless you're running an agency or generating content at scale, this tier feels like overkill. What really sets Playground AI apart is the consistency. Once you dial in a style or aesthetic, you can replicate it across multiple generations. This is huge if you're building a brand. Most users rave about the quality. But the biggest complaint is the learning curve. The interface has a lot of options, and it can feel overwhelming if you're not used to prompt engineering. My honest take? Playground AI is genuinely impressive for pure image generation. But it's a specialized tool. If you need beautiful AI-generated artwork and you're willing to invest time in learning the prompts, it delivers. But if you're looking for a complete design solution, you're going to need other tools in your stack. Now let's talk about Kittle because this one operates in a completely different universe. While Playground AI is all about generating images from scratch, Kittle is a full design platform that happens to have AI features sprinkled in. Think of it as what would happen if Canva and Figma had a baby, but with a focus on making professional design accessible to everyone. The first thing that hits you with Kittle is how clean the interface feels. It's intuitive in a way that makes you feel like you already know how to use it, even on your first login. The platform is template heavy, which some designers might roll their eyes at, but honestly, the templates are well crafted. We're talking over 10,000 options, from social media posts to logos to print designs, and they actually look professional. Here's what caught my attention. Kittle doesn't just rely on templates, it gives you serious design tools. The vector editing is surprisingly robust. The typography options are extensive, with over 1,400 fonts, including premium ones. And the AI features feel integrated rather than tacked on. The background remover actually works. The image upscaler is solid. And the AI image generator, while not as powerful as Playground AI, gets the job done for design elements. The pricing structure is refreshingly straightforward. The free plan gives you five projects and 20 AI credits, which is enough to test the waters, but not much more. The pro plan at $10 monthly is where most people land. You get 50 projects, advanced AI features, and access to over 10 million stock assets. For the price, that's genuinely competitive. The expert plan at 24 bucks a month unlocks unlimited projects, premium mockups, and team features. This is where Kittle starts competing with more expensive platforms like Adobe Creative Suite. And honestly, for many use cases, it holds its own. Most users love how quickly they can go from concept to finished design. The drag and drop interface just works and the AI features speed up the workflow without getting in the way. The biggest complaint I hear is about the limitations on the free plan, but that's pretty standard these days. Now, here's where Kittle really shines, and it's something that caught me off guard. The platform has this smart approach to AI integration that actually makes sense. Instead of throwing every possible AI feature at you, they focused on the ones that genuinely speed up design work. The text effects generator is surprisingly sophisticated. You can create complex typography treatments that would take hours in traditional design software, and it happens in seconds. I spent a good chunk of time testing their logo maker, and honestly, it's better than I expected. You're not getting cookie cutter results here. 
the AI actually considers your industry, brand personality, and style preferences to generate concepts that feel tailored. I've seen small business owners create logos that look like they paid a professional designer, and they're doing it in under 10 minutes. But here's what really impressed me about Kittle's approach. They've built in these contextual suggestions that pop up as you're working. Say you're designing a social media post. The platform will suggest color palettes that work well for engagement, fonts that are readable at small sizes, and layouts that follow current design trends. It's like having a design mentor looking over your shoulder, but without the judgment. The asset library deserves its own mention. We're talking millions of high-quality photos, illustrations, and graphics, all with proper licensing, handled automatically. This is huge for small businesses who can't afford expensive stock photo subscriptions. I've found assets in Kittle that I would have paid $50 for elsewhere, and they're included in the monthly subscription. Here's something most reviews don't mention. The mobile experience is actually usable. I was skeptical about designing on my phone, but Kittle's mobile interface is surprisingly capable. You can create and edit designs on the go, which is perfect for those moments when inspiration strikes or you need to make quick changes to a campaign. The export options are also thoughtfully designed. You can download in multiple formats simultaneously, resize for different platforms with one click, and even generate variations of your design automatically. If you're managing social media across multiple platforms, this feature alone can save hours of manual resizing. Let's be real though. Kittle isn't trying to be the most powerful design tool on the market. It's optimizing for speed and ease of use, and it nails both. If you're a small business owner, content creator, or someone who needs to produce professional-looking designs quickly without a steep learning curve, Kittle makes a lot of sense. <sighs> but here's where things fall apart if you're doing complex work. The vector editing, while decent, isn't going to replace Illustrator for serious graphic design work. The AI image generation is functional but limited compared to dedicated AI tools. And if you're working on print projects with specific color requirements, you'll hit the platform's limitations pretty quickly. <sighs> so which one should you pick? <clears throat> Here's my honest breakdown. Choose Playground AI if you're primarily focused on generating unique, high-quality images and you're comfortable with prompt-based workflows. It's perfect for content creators, marketers who need original visuals, or anyone building a visual brand from scratch. The image quality is genuinely impressive, and the control you get is unmatched in this price range. Go with Kittle if you need a complete design solution that covers everything from social media graphics to logos to marketing materials. It's ideal for small businesses, social media managers, or anyone who needs to produce professional designs quickly without getting bogged down in complex software. But here's the thing. They're not really competitors. Playground AI is a specialized image generation tool, while Kittle is a comprehensive design platform. If budget allows, they actually complement each other well. Generate unique assets in Playground AI, then bring them into Kittle for final design work. The bottom line? Playground AI wins on pure image generation power and quality. Kittle wins on ease of use and comprehensive design features. Your choice should depend on whether you need a specialized tool for AI image creation or a full featured design platform that happens to include AI capabilities. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.